Film is the means with which I want to communicate ideas about social and political change. You have to keep believing in yourself and believing in your abilities and your creative abilities when nobody wants to support you. Uh, and that's a really hard thing. Uh, I'm Shonali Bose. I'm the writer, director, producer of two feature films, Amu and Margarita with a Straw. I grew up with um, a sister, like a cousin sister, who's just a year younger than me, who has a condition called cerebral palsy. Uh, we grew up in India doing everything together. So whether it was swimming or later as teenagers, dancing, partying, everything. And uh, I realized when we were about 16, 17, that she was so romantic and yearning to have a boyfriend. But it's something I forgot about and years passed and I went to study in, in, in America and she in London and I was on my way back to India, stopped in London to meet her and we met in a pub. I asked her, Malini, what do you want for your 40th birthday? It's the best birthday ever. And she said, I just want to have sex. At that moment it threw me and I just said something facetious like, well, it's you know not as great as it's made out to be and I didn't know how to deal with it. And it made me reflect and think deeply about my sister's sexuality and about the sexuality of the disabled, about the fact that they're looked at as sexless beings. So I felt uh, I wanted to make a film around that subject. As I wrote, everything was really from my life, not from hers. Whether it's dealing with loss uh, or bisexuality or anything, everything was from my own life. So in that sense, it's an even more personal film. I didn't grow up wanting to be a filmmaker. I am a political activist. I was passionate about social justice and remained so. I, I came to the United States to do a PhD and it's just that at Columbia University I found that their academics were so removed from real life. So I was in political science but if I was studying a grassroots movement in India it was a very developmental approach to the third world. So I quit my PhD because I was disheartened by it. It was not the reason I was wanting to pursue academics. I was pursuing academics to deeper understand social change and how to bring about social change. And then, you know, you're, as an immigrant, you're allowed, as a, uh, as a student, F1 student, you're allowed to work for one year in, in, in America. And I was in New York and I did a job at um, Manhattan Cable Television. Just got a, I got an internship there. They gave me this thing that every week I, I shot a new story, but, and it was a one minute clip, but it was on things that I cared about, like police brutality, etc., happening in the city. And in, in putting together that one minute visually and editorially, that I really felt excited about how you can impact people in that way. When Malini was born, uh, so that was 1966, in India there wasn't even any school uh, for children with cerebral palsy. At that time the word they used was spastic. So that was the level of ignorance when she went to the government to say, you know, we want to have a school for spastic children and they said plastic. They didn't even know the word spastic. We need to be integrated. We need to have the disabled integrated into the society and not make a difference between the able-bodied and the disabled. Audiences just love the film of all kinds of people, young, old, you know, definitely straight audiences. Parents came up to me and said that it made them really open up and think about their children and, you know, some of them who had not accepted their children who are gay. A lot of young gay people came and told me that they took their families to see the film and then came out to them. So that was really deeply moving.